today, we'll be looking at creating a game from scratch. The game we'll be looking at creating is a jumping game that I call the Jungle Jumping. So we'll be working on it on our class today and it's a game that is fun to make in the sense that you can make it for your friends and family and have fun while doing it. So first things first, without wasting any much of your time, we go to picking our backdrop. Click on backdrop in case you're not to wear a backdrop. Is the background that you click on or you're working on in your scratch and you are working on the scratch as well. So because as you can see there's a whole wide array of backdrop, fantasy music and etc. This time we'll be going to outdoors, taking the words, we'll delete this bobcat sprite so we can use something more akin to outdoors by going to click on our sprite, click it. the bear, we simply drag the bear to the lower left corner of the screen, we go to size, reduce it to 50, voila. Bring it to the lower left part of the screen. And we are ready to work on our sprites. So remember, the first thing we should be, we want to do is to tell our sprites the bear to go up and down whenever we press a particular button. How do we do that? Going to motion, change Y by 10 block. Place it in here. Out here, sorry. Go to controls, take your repeat by 10. Lock it inside of it. Go back to motion. Change Y by 10, place it out here, and go back to controls, repeat by 10. So, what's the point of all of this? I want to tell the sprite, the bear, to go up and down when the button is pressed, as I wish. Bring this down to the starting point. And I can only do that by giving it separate commands, which I will later intertwine. We have changed by 10 positive here. We should also change this to negative so that it knows when to go up and down. We click inside of the 10, delete, add the negative button, 1, 0, enter, and voila. We can now drag this to the other command list. Bring this down so that we can have a better space to add more uh, blocks. We go to events. When spacebar is clicked, go to sound because I want to give my game a fun sound. I go to start pop sound, lock it in between when space key is pressed and above, repeat 10. So when I press my space key, it goes up and it goes down as you can see. The sound is going to make a small while working. But the basic thing is when the obstacle passes through and you click on the spacebar, it goes up and it goes down. That is how to make a sprite. And give it the command to go up and down in your jungle jumping game. So join us next time as we place obstacles to jump over. Thank you. In the previous class, we looked at creating a jumping game, which I call jungle jump. And we talked about and we learned how to make the sprite jump. We use the bear sprites and we can cause it to jump when the space bar is pressed. See you over here. Yes. But today we'll be looking at adding obstacles. Remember, it's a jumping game, and which means that there should be obstacles for our bear sprite to jump over. You go to the sprite because we'll be creating a new sprite as obstacle. As an obstacle, you go to sprites. Let's pick an animal, something akin to the forest. So let's. Okay, this is part of my mistake. Go to choose sprites. Animals. Let's pick animals, let's go, let's uh, take a hedgehog. The hedgehog is more akin to the jungle or to the woods. So you see our hedgehog appears wherever we want it, wherever yeah, at the center of the screen. But it's big. So like I did to the bear sprite, initially I'll reduce it. And this time I'm reducing it to 40. 40 because I want it to be extra small. Enter. And we have a very small hedgehog. which our sprite, the bear, can jump over. All right. All right. So we are going to be giving the sprite, the hedgehog sprite, the command of moving forward. And we start this by going, go to the motion aspect, go to the motion aspect, and you go to, go, go to X, Y. Go to X, Y block, drag it, and place it over here. So 
Now, you first of all drag these sprites to an angle you want it from. Let's delete this first of all. Let's delete this from first of all. So, I want to tell the sprite program that I want my hedgehog to start its motion from over here. Okay? I want it to start its motion from over here before getting to the end of the screen. Now, I will drag my sprite from here to the end where I want it to start from. And the, go to X, go to XY block here. Automatically changes, as you can see, it automatically changes to the positions of the X and Y. In the sense that X is from side to side, Y is from side to side. Okay? So I've dragged it. I can now drag it. Let's go to XY block and place it in here with the correct axis. Now I want it to glide. I simply go to, I can simply click glide from one second from, from glide for one second from X to negative minus one to eight. But I want it to glide from over here to over here, which means I have to drag my hedgehog sprite from here to here. Which causes this glide for one second to change to the cor corresponding uh, positions of the X and Y. Then I can now drag this glide for one second and place it in here. Okay? Return this to the starting position. Now, since I, it's already, it's just one sprite that I have here and I want the sprite to be going forward so that the BS sprite can jump in over it. I will go to controls. I take forever and put it in here. So we have that done. I can attach green flag when green flag is clicked in here. As you see, it keeps going forward and forward and forward and forward and forward. But to make it a little bit slower, you click on stop so you continue working. To make it a little slower, I can change the speed to say four. That way, when I click on this green flag, goes a little slower. But in this case, I want the game to be fun, so I still return it to 1. But you can make it 4, 5, however you slow you want it to be. And that's how you create a sprite for now. That is how you create a sprite that can be the obstacle. The next thing we'll be looking at is stopping the game so that when your sprite comes, moving sprite as the obstacle comes towards the bear, the game can know when to stop. You simply do this by going to stop all from control go to control stop all you click on this you drag it over here then you drag the weight until wait until we find weight until here to the top of stop all yes and we take go to sensing where we can find Touch a mouse pointer. We lock it inside wait until and change click on the drop down box. Okay. So, so bear wall pin. And we've done that. We can now change it to bear walking and go to events for when clicked. Drop when clicked and place it on. So that when we press play and it comes to it, the Hedgehog sprite stops automatically. So that's that for today. We've created the obstacle sprites. We've given it the action of going forward. Also giving it the action of stopping whenever it comes in contact with the PS sprite. The next class we're looking at duplicating it, stopping the game and putting scores. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. So far we've been looking at how to make a scratch game called jungle jumping we've done different aspects of it creating the sprite causing it to jump creating an obstacle and today we'll be adding more obstacles but before we do that let's backtrack a little bit and go to the original sprite the bear what am i doing i'm trying to place a situation whereby when the hedgehog sprite is crossing the bear there will be no obstacles there will be no need for the bear to stop because once in a while the goat gets entangled so i want to stop that from happening I go to the original sprite being the bear. I go to motion. When I go to motion, I can 
go to go to xy position but before then let's have the sprite let's have the let's have the bear sprite here already i will now go move the sprite this way when i move it this way i can go to go to xy because it's already at the position i want it to be so that once the game, game once the game is started the bear sprite can be at the position we want it to be already go to xy and have the code already in the appropriate place when i'm done with that i'll go to events tick when i click place it here so that once our game is started the sprite is already in the right position and we can play it okay. all right sorry about that all right so it this bear sprite begins in the right position the hedgehog sprite moves to the other position from the opposite position all in the right proportion now we can get into duplicating it because it doesn't make sense that the hedgehog sprite being the obstacle will be one we can now replicate it by duplicating the obstacle how do we do this we return this to this position go to the hedgehog right click on it click on duplicate now we have two hedgehog sprites with the same coding with the same set of command codes we go to the second sprite go to the second sprite we go to wait for one second and we place it we go to wait for one second and place it under the green flag of the control okay and we go to looks for our hide because we want it we want the second sprite to hide first before coming out sorry let's align this over here we go to hide place it above here go to show place it under here and once we click our sprites what happens okay okay this is entangled we can move this out of here once we click our sprite what happens what happens when we click our sprites I see there is trouble with it. Okay, since we are having a little trouble with jumping, we can go to there and increase the speed by 25. And have this at minus 25. Minus 25. Click it, Alice. Okay, but as you can see, the sprites are still trouble, which means we are not, we didn't have the right command codes on the correct sprite. So we return this to their normal position, delete the codes we had for here, delete, delete. Let's stop this. So we replicated the previous action on the second hedgehog, which is what we are supposed to work on. That means we go to controls. Wait one second, place it over here. Looks. We are dealing with height first, so we look for height. Place it above here. Take show. Place it underneath. And let's play our game. See what happens. I think we still have an error. Probably the game is tangled. Probably the game is tangled. Tangled and we remove this. So with the difficulty we are having is the sprites. The both sprites are not moving where they are supposed to. They are both coming together. So we should probably have this one here. Go to events. Go to controls. Stop this sprite from moving. Wait one second. Place it here. Go to looks. Hide. Yeah. Show underneath. Wait one second. Place. So 
So it comes simultaneously. It comes simultaneously. And that's that. So that is how you duplicate uh, hedgehog sprites or whatever sprite you used initially. This is how you duplicate the sprite and cause them to move differently as you jump. Join us in the next class as we find out how to play score so that whenever you jump over a particular game, you can have a score recorded for you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the final part of our scratch game creation, Jumbo Jump, as you named it. The last thing we'll be looking at today after studying how to create our sprite, cause it to jump, make obstacles, duplicate it, cause it to keep moving on and on. We have so much fun doing it. But we'll be at the last part today, which is adding scores, because no game is complete without adding scores. Obviously, I mean, when you play the game with your friends, you have to have a high score to find out who is better at playing it. And you can boast that, hey, I made the game, I'm better at playing it than you. So how do we add our high scores, our score? We go to variables. Before we do that, we go back to motion. We go to our original sprites. We go to variables and variables and add and create variable which we'll be calling scores or high scores. What I choose to call it scores in this aspect. Yes. And set you go to set variables zero change it to scores. Change variables to my variable change it to scores. And we want to tell the game that when I jump, and I jump over an obstacle, you should rate it. So we go to change scores by 1, and place it under the repeat and change while by minus 25 block. Place it here. We are sure to adjust this. We go to set scores by 0, place it under here. In that manner, when we play our game, just like this. It records it. So you see, we are having so much fun jumping our, over our obstacles and the game keeps recording as we jump. This is fun, isn't it? It's so much fun. It's so much fun. So we've created our first, our beautiful, our wonderful jump, jumping game. We've given scores. And you can do this at home, at your leisure. Create your game. Have fun playing it. And tell your friends, hey, I made a game that we can enjoy. And that is it. So remember that the reason we have the scores is to the extent that when you play and it records scores on you for you based on the points you give it. But when you play it and you miss like this, it returns back to zero, giving you a game over. So thank you so much. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Go home, scratch, create a game, and be alive.